Sabi ng marami, to see is to believe. But in real spirituality, to believe is to see. In fact, to believe is to be in the business of creation. To be a co-worker with God. Believe in order to recreate. To create something out of what is already created. To shape your world. Believe to be the architect of your destiny. Father, we thank you that you have given your people that wonderful privilege to work with you. In fact, though not deserving, to be your co-worker in making our lives. Patuloy niyo po kaming linisin, paliwanagan, akayin. Kayo po ang mangusap, mangaral. Dalangin namin ang lahat ng ito sa ngalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Believe to recreate. God is God of creation. God is creative. God is faith personified. And faith makes things possible. People's faith in God recreates from existing creation. God privileges humans to participate in the making of this world, of our world, of your personal world. Matthew 9.22, Jesus said, Your faith has made you well. Ito ang sinabi niya sa babaeng gumaling sa kanyang pagdurugo. In other words, Jesus said, Your faith, which means your thought, because faith is thought, your thought has changed your bodily chemistry, electricity, and structure. In fact, your thought changed your bodily functions. Your thought has altered your physique. Binago ng iyong iniisip ang iyong katawan. Binago ng iyong pananalig. Binago ng iyong pag-iisip na punong-puno ng pananalig. Ang kondisyon, kalagayan ng iyong katawan. At napakalinaw na tinutukoy dito ni Jesus, Not I made you well, but your faith made you well. It is your mind over your matter, your faith over your body. In fact, in healing, you participate. Ang tao ay hindi lang passive recipient ng healing, ng dealing ng Diyos. Siya ay kasabay gumagawa para ito mangyari. At sa babaeng ito, yung kanyang pananalig ang nagbunsod, ang naging sanhi ng kanyang paggaling. Hindi siya biglang ginawan lamang ni Jesus ng kung anong bagay na siya'y walang kamaang-maang, walang kamalay-malay, at wala siyang participation. Kasali siya. Matthew 17.20 He replied, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. At ito, na-ignore natin, ginagawa lang natin laging talinghaga, so parang wala naman talagang talab sa ating practical na buhay. Pero sabi niya, ito ang katotohanan. Ibubunyag ko sa'yo. Hindi mo ito alam eh. God doesn't have to do it for you. Whatever it is that you have in mind, God won't do it for you. You do it. And don't blame God with when and if it doesn't happen because you do it by your faith. The truth about the created world, Jesus is saying, is that faith, which means thought, which means word, which means action, faith can rearrange can recreate the physical world. Faith can recreate matter. Nanalig ang babae kay Jesus, ang pananalig na yun, ini-rearrange ang kanyang katawan. Kung ano man ang dahilan ng kanyang non-stop bleeding for 12 years, na ampat. Ang chemistry, ang mobility, ang functions ng kanyang body parts ay naiba. Dahil sa ano? Dahil sa kanyang pananalig, dahil sa kanyang iniisip, 
ang iniisip mo ay makakapag-arrange and rearrange ng iyong katawan. Yun lang ang mensahe nito, ang simple-simple. Merong kang participation. Your faith, sabi ni Jesus, made you well. Not only me, but you participated by believing and then by doing something. You went out of your daily routine. You went out of your way to meet with me, to touch the hem of my clothes. May ginawa ka bilang aksyon na dapat lang ay logical consequence ng iyong iniisip o paniniwala. At dahil dyan, gumaling ka. Ang ginawa kasi ng maraming corporate religions, ginawa na lang yung taong umaasa. Tagadasal niya yung priest, tagadasal niya yung pastor, tagadasal niya ang prayer team, tagadasal niya ang mga tao. Wala na siyang inaabangan, kundi basta lang lumaglag mula sa langit yung hinihingi niya. Hindi niya natatanto na siya ay participant at pag hindi siya nag-participate, walang mangyayari. Na ang tunay na pananalig ay may kakambal na kilos. Tulad ng babaeng yun na nanalig, kumilo siya. Ginawa niya yung bawal nga eh. Bawal sa tradisyon na hawakan niya yung ibang tao kasi unclean siya. Kababae pa niyang tao, hawak siya sa damit ni Jesus. Tapos wala pang permiso. Pero yung pananalig na yon nung sinabayan niya ng tamang aksyon, pumasok siya sa control room ng Diyos kung saan ang lahat ng bagay ay kinokontrol, inaayos at rearrange At faith ang ticket niya para makapasok doon, narearrange ang kanyang katawan. Naging sanay na sanay na lang kasi tayong may taga-dasal, may taga-ganito, na wala tuloy yung ating understanding and practice of personal healing through faith. Luke 1.37, nothing is impossible for God. And to extend that, nothing is impossible for those who believe in God and act according to that belief. It's not enough that you believe. You have to act according to that belief, which the woman did. How and why can humans participate in the recreation of the world? Because even science tells us that every atom in creation is pulsating. Tumitibok-tibok, lumalaki, lumiliit, nagko-contract, nag-expand ang atom. Which really means that every atom, which is the very foundation of the material world, is in a dynamic state. Hindi siya permanent, hindi siya solid, siya ay pwedeng ma-rearrange. And matter, the material world, is malleable. It can be recreated, reshaped, reformed, reformated by faith, by thought, mind over matter na pag nananalig ka, ang iniisip mo, can lift mountains, can make trees blossom or wither, can make you well or make you sick. Marami sa mga tao may sakit kasi maling mag-isip. Yung iniisip nila ang lumilikha ng kanilang sakit o yung iniisip nila at pag-iisip nila ang nagpapalala ng kanilang sakit. Samantalang kung mag-iisip sila ng nakakapagpagaling na pag-iisip, gagaling sila. For instance, the orderly universe that we read in Genesis is a recreation and rearrangement from chaos. And that orderly universe can also be chaotic again. Walang permanent. Jesus turned water into wine. Can you imagine all the chemical processes that have to happen for water to become wine? How can water ferment? How can water change chemically and even have flavor to the point that the host found it to be the best wine ever? But Jesus turned it into wine. It is thought that turned it into wine. Joshua had the sun stopped in its track in the sky for many hours. As reported in Joshua 10, 12 to 13. Si Joshua yon nagpray, nagisip, nanalig, huminto ang araw. One tiny bit of a human being can rearrange the universe. Jesus multiplied the bread and fish. Anong kailangan mong physical laws para mangyari yun? The fig tree withered at the word of Jesus. 
the storm stilled at Jesus' command. And we can go on and on and on. All possibilities, combinations and recombinations exist in creation. There is nothing new. Nandyan na lahat yan. All the physical laws, chemical laws, electrical laws, they are just waiting to be discovered and then turned into practical science, functional science, and this is where and how inventions happen. Na-discover yung kuryente, na dati nang nandun, hindi naman sila kumriate ng kuryente, na-discover lang. Then na-discover kung paano ito i-manage. Kaya nakakagawa tayo ng mga electrical appliances, nakikalabag tayo sa kuryente, na ililipat-lipat, na ilalagay pa nga sa baterya. Pero nandun na yung lahat. Because God created the world in just six days. Which really means, God created only once. And after that, everything is already there. It's for humans to discover everything there, to arrange and rearrange everything there, and to invent tools in their lives to make their lives easier. Nandu na. Ecclesiastes 1.9, There is nothing new under the sun. Kaya kung minsan, mababasa mo sa dyaryo, a new species of sardines found in the Philippines. You say, bakit ang new species? Dati na yung nandyan. Ang sabihin nyo lang, a newly discovered species. Pero walang new. Things can be recreated out of what was once for all time created. Humans, we do not create. But we can recreate. That's how discoveries and inventions and innovations happen. Yung mga great composers, they don't create the music. Sensitive lang yung spirit nila, nakakarating sila doon sa spiritual world. Nadidinig nila tuloy yung tugtog na dati nang nandun, nadidinig nila yung melody na dati nang nandun. At dahil artist sila, skilled sila, kaya nilang ibaba sa ating physical world. Kaya nilang inotate, tugtugin, para tayo man makarinig nung dapat sila lang na nakakarinig. That's why artists are priests. They straddle heaven and earth. They straddle the unseen and the visible world. Lahat ng tinatawag natin creative people, hindi nila kinecreate yun. Sensitive lang sila, nababasa nila yung nandun na, na didiscover nila na nandun. Tapos because of their skill, because of their training, kaya nilang ilipat sa material world para itong mga less sensitive, less gifted in that area, makakita rin, makarinig din nung nakikita ng artist. We can recreate because nothing is in permanent state. Walang permanent. Ecclesiastes 3.1 There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Then in isa isa yung dapat sana yung magkakabaligtad na ideya. A time to die, a time to be born, a time to gather, a time to scatter. Parang magkakahiwala yun. Masa niya, lahat yan pwede mangyari. Panapanahon lang. Time can make anything happen. That's why when something does not and cannot happen, wait. There is time for it. Merong tamang panahon para mangyari ang lahat ng bagay at sa marunong maghintay, walang imposible. Walang hindi darating. Ecclesiastes 9.11 I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift, or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favor to the learned. The usual law of life is, yung mabilis sumakbo, mananalo sa karera. Yung malakas, mananalo sa gyera. Yung matalino, magkakaroon siya ng mga pangangailangan niya sa buhay. Yung mahusay, magkakaroon siya ng pabor from people, from everybody, from everything. Pero sabi, no, 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 hindi naman ganyan eh. Hindi ko mo magaling ka, ikaw na yung yayaman. Hindi ko mo mabilis ka, ikaw na yung mananalo sa karera. Nothing is understood. Nothing is for sure. Kaya kung hindi ko mo mahal na mahal ka nung pinakasalan mo, next year mahal ka pa rin. It is not understood. 
Nothing is for sure. The laws that govern life could be liquid. Hindi solid. Kaya no situation is permanent. Illness or health, poverty or wealth, brilliance or lack of it, they are all liquid. Hindi mo alam kung anong pwede mangyari bukas. After God says Hezekiah would die, sabi ng Diyos, mamamatay na si Hezekiah. O prophet, pumunta ka doon, sabihin mo mamamatay na siya. At nung sinabi nga, biglang nagdasal tong Hezekiah, Diyos ko, huwag naman po. Di ba, ganito naman ako sa inyo. Mabuti naman ako. Isaiah 38.5, sabi ng Diyos sa eh, kay propeta, Go and tell Hezekiah, This is what the Lord, the God of your father, David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life. Technically speaking, God changed his mind. Yung mga teologyan, ayaw na ayaw nila sabihin niya, no, God doesn't change his mind. All the Bible verses tell us. Sabi niya, o oh, sige, sige, dadagdagan natin ang 15 years. May additional blessing pa. Apparently, as seen in countless examples in the Bible, everything is infinitely negotiable. Nadadala sa magandang usapan. Isaiah 1.18, I, the Lord, invite you to come and talk it over. Pag-usapan natin. O sige, sinabi ko, mamamatay ka na. O, natinig ko na ang dasal mo. Nakita ko na yung mga luha mo. Asya, asya, asya. 15 years additional. Believe it. Ask for it. Receive it. Sabi ni Jesus, ask. And it will be given to you. Seek. And you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Matthew 19, 26, Jesus said, With God, all things are possible. Which extended can say, with God, all things can be remade, can be reprogrammed by and in faith. Faith rewrites the laws. Faith overrides natural law. Faith moves mountains. Sapat na sapat na sapat ang mga patunay sa Biblia sa katotohanan yan. When in faith, we choose to create something new. Imagining it in our mind is the act of us reaching into the power of God. Reaching into the sacred space, control room of heaven if you like to call it, where things can be reordered. When we imagine it in our minds, it is the prayer, the wish, the word that we release into heaven. Pag dahil sa pananalig mo, gusto mong lumikha ng bago, baguhin ang sitwasyon, imaginein mo siya sa iyong utak, isipin mo siya. At pag inisip mo siya sa tamang vibration, sa tamang frequency called faith, Yung iniisip mo, papasok sa control room ng heaven into that sacred space and push the right buttons to rearrange the universe as you pray for, as you believe in. Thinking in a certain spiritual dimension is praying. Kaya marami mga tao, kahit hindi nila sinasabi ng in Jesus' name, amen, amen, nagpe-pray sila. Kasi pag iniisip mo ng taimtim, ng wagas, Iniisip mo sa para ang pinaniniwalaan mo, nagdarasal ka. Kaya can you imagine kung anong dasal mo kung lagi mo sasabi, ay peste ang buhay to. Malas ang buhay ko. Ang hirap-hirap kumita. Ang hirap ng buhay. Wala na tayong pag-asa. Prayer yon. Pumasok sa control room ng langit ang iyong dasal, pinindot ang mga tamang buton, you get what you want. Talagang mawawala ka ng pag-asa, mapepeste ang buhay mo, dahil yun ang sinasabi mo, dahil yun ang pinaniniwalaan mo. Bawat pumapasok sa ating utak na taimtim, taos, at pinaniniwalaan natin ay dalangin. Matthew 17.20, He replied, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, kung may pinag-iisipan ka, pero totoong totoo, kahit maliit yun, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. 
literally in hindi ba literally with the thought of god and probably with the thought of many people who believe in what they are thinking of mountains move tectonic plates continents tidal waves planets move alam niyo ba kung sino ang nagpapaantar ng mga ikot ng mga planeta hindi ba the thought of god at anong napapaantar ng mga tao nag-iisip ng negative sa planeta pakaisipin natin Anong nalilikha sa inyo-inyo mga buhay ng inyo-inyo mga pinaniniwalaan at laging sinasabi? Dahil sabi ni Jesus, nothing will be impossible for you. You want to destroy your life? Think about it. Think about destructive thoughts. You want to destroy your marriage? You want to destroy the planet? Think about it. Isipin mo na gusto mong sirain lahat ng gubat para lang magkaroon ka ng isang negosyo? Sige, destroy the planet. Think about it and it will happen. I mean, nothing is impossible for you. That is the power that you have that God gave you when God created you and made you in His image. The power of your faith. The power of your thought. The power of your word. The power of the spoken word. James 5.16 The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And righteous here doesn't always have to mean obeying all religious codes. A righteous person who can move the hand of heaven and the controls of heaven could mean a person whose thoughts enter sacred space, whose belief in their thoughts open the door of heaven so that they can come in and their thoughts can push the buttons that they believe in. First John 5.15, And we know that He hears us. Whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Dahil dinidinig ng langit ang tunay mong hinihinging taus-puso at yung pagbibigyan na yun does not moralize kung ano man yung hinihingi mo. Amin ganun? Eh, paniwalaan mo na na yung pinaniniwalaan mo eh, tinanggap mo na kasi mangyayari. Matthew 11.24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. At ang akin lang laging in the end, Marami lang sa atin, hindi natin alam, nagpe-pray tayo eh. Tapos pag dumadating nga yung iniisip natin, magtataka pa tayo, eh ipinag-pray na pala natin. John 5, 8-9 When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, yung lumpo na nasa tabi nung pool, na nananiniwala ang mga tao, pagka sila ay, pagka yung pool na yun ay gumalaw yung tubig, bumula-bula, una-unahan silang tumalon, yung maunang tumalon ay gagaling, eh, meron doon isang lumpo, hindi siya makatalon-talon, naunahan siya ng iba. He asked him, Do you want to get well? Tingnan niyo tanong ni Jesus, ha? Do you want to get well? Which really means, Do you think of and believe in getting well? Getting well ba ang laman ng iyong utak? Kasi kung yun ang laman ng iyong utak, at naimtim ang pag-iisip mo, dapat matagal ka nang gumaling. Sagot ng lalaki, Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Ang tanong ni Jesus, gusto mo bang gumaling? Ang sagot niya, gusto ko pong mauna na lumusong sa tubig. Magkaiba, no? Lihis. The man knew and pictured what he wanted. What he really wanted was not healing itself, but a helper. Wala po kasing tumutulong sa akin, bumubuhat sa akin para mauna akong lumubog sa tubig kasi mauuna lang ang gagaling. Maghihintay na uli ang lahat na gumulo uli yung tubig at pag gumulo, una-unahan na naman. So, the man knew and pictured what he wanted, a helper. Not independence through healing, not healing itself, but somebody who will help him get into the water so he would heal. So he was going the wrong, the wrong way, the long way. The man thought that the water could heal him. And the man thought that what he needed was the water. And therefore, what he needed was a helper to get him into the water. Di ba ang haba ng dadaanan niya para magpunta pa sa healing? Ano nangyari sa taong ito? The man had scaled down his expectation and his hope. 
hindi na healing diretso ang hinihingi niya, yun na lang tutulong na siya lumubog sa tubig. At pag nakalubog na siya, tsaka na niya isipin kung paano mag-heal. The man had scaled down his faith, his thought. Instead of direct healing, ang thought, faith na lang niya, at thought, somebody who would help him. The man had scaled down his word. His word is, I need a helper. Helper, helper, helper. Examine kung ganito na tayo ngayon. Imbes ba na mangarap tayo ng malaki, pinaliit na lang natin. Imbes ba na malaki ang ating planuhin, pinapaliit na lang natin. And examine kung nagiging ganito ang mga tao dahil sa atin, na dahil sa ating pakikialam, pangihimasok, pangiinsulto, pagkukulong sa kanila, eh, lumiit na rin ang paningin nila sa sarili, lumiit na rin ang kanilang mga pangarap, lumiit na rin ang kanilang mundo. Kasi itong lalaking ito, marahil sa tagal at haba ng mga kabiguan, nag-adjust, pinaliit ng pinaliit ng pinaliit ang expectation. Ang hinihingi na lang niya, somebody na tutulong sa kanyang lumusong sa tubig, hindi na yung gumaling na lang siya biglaan. Then Jesus said, sa pagpapatuloy ng kwento, meaning Jesus' word and thought, Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. Napaka-interesting ng conversation. Sabi, you know, naniniwala ka bang gagaling ka? Yung ba ang iniisip mo? Ang kailangan ko po yung magbubuhat sa akin para ilubog ako sa tubig. Sabi niya, bumangon ka dyan, tumayo ka. His prayer and wish... His thought plus word was granted. A helper was sent to him, Jesus. But note, Jesus put the man on the express lane to healing. Hindi na niya pinadaan sa tubig, hindi na niya binuhat, pinagaling na lang niya agad. Kasi yun naman talaga kailangan ng tao gumaling, hindi niya kailangan ng tagabuhat. Hindi niya kailangan ng caregiver, ang kailangan niya healing and health. Pero hinihingi niya, caregiver, ba't hindi niya hingin? Eh, gumaling siya. Bumaba ang expectation niya. Bumaba ang pananalig. Jesus did not help him by lifting his disabled body into the water. Instead, Jesus healed him directly by passing the water. After all, Jesus is the living water. Ba't pa niya kakailanganin yung tubig sa bukal kung eto na yung living water? And we can do a Jesus this way. We can help people get into the express lane, into their dreams. May kilala kang sobrang mar- maralita, walang kapera-pera, gusto mag-aral. So, namamasukan sa'yo para kung ano nalang gawin niya, makapag-ipon-ipon, makapag-aral. Kaya mo na mapag-aralin, ini-enroll mo na, pinag-aral mo hanggang makatapos. Do a Jesus. Put people on the express lane para dumali, bumilis. At sabi ni Jesus, if you believe in me, you will do the works I do. In fact, greater than the things I have done, you will do. Because I'm going to the Father. I'm going to ask the Father to empower you. I'm going to empower you. You can do great things. Imbes maging tool ka na ang pangarap ng isang tao ay mabigo, lumiit, maging tool ka ng langit na ito'y lumaki. At kung maaari pang ma-express lane, i-express lane mo. Do a Jesus. It is important. Bakit mo ba gustong mamasukan sa factory ko, iho? Ang tataas ng grade mo sa school, titigil ka mag-aaral. Eh kasi po, gusto ko pong makapag-aaral. So, papasok ka sa factory ko, mag-iipon ka ng anim, limang taon, walong taon para ka mag-aaral. May extra money naman ako dito. Eto, mag-enroll ka na, diretsya na nang makatapos ka na. Do a Jesus. Put people on the express lane. And you can multiply the application many times over, depending on what your surrounding is. And to back, go back to the story, at once, the man was cured. And he picked up his mat and walked. Ang ganda ng poetry eh. Ang inaantay niya, taong bibit-bit sa kanya para siya ilublob sa tubig. Ang naging ending, siya ay tumayo at bibit-bit niya yung higaan niya. Empowerment. Think of, imagine heaven. To have heaven, to be in heaven. Sinasabi yan ng John 14, to 4. Think of joy. To have joy, to be joyful. John 16. Think of doing the impossible to make it possible. Dapat wala sa vocabulario ng nananalik kay Jesus yung word na impossible. Matthew 14, 28 to 29. Nung si Jesus ay naglalakad sa tubig, may bagyo, 
At sila Pedro ay nasa bangka. At sinabi ni Pedro sa kanya, Lord, papuntahin niyo naman po ako sa tubig. Paglaka rin niyo ako sa tubig, makalapit ako sa inyo. Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you in the water. What is the faith there? I believe. I think of being able to walk on the water. Come, he said. Remember, sabi ni Jesus, ask and it will be given you. Come. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. You see? Inisip, which means dinasal, either dinasal mo in your mind or with your mouth or both, ibinigay, nangyari. Paano nyo ipapaliwanag ang isang solid object like the body of Peter being able to float on water? What kind of the rules of physics and buoyancy must you circumvent for that to happen? Pero nangyari. Nanalig, nangyari. Kaya lang, nabaligtad yung kanyang pananalig. Nakita niya yung hangin, yung mga talsik ng tubig, takot ang pumasok uli sa utak niya, natakot siyang lumubog, eh di lumubog siya. Ba't siya lumubog? Inisip niyang lulubog siya. Bakit siya lumutang? Inisip niya kaninang lulutang siya. Binaligtad ni Peter. Yung thought niya of faith kanina into a thought of fear. First, what Peter believed in happened. Then what Peter feared also happened. As you think, it happens. Mark 5.36, Jesus told him, Don't be afraid. Just believe. Ang simple sentence to, ha? Pero kung ating hihimayin, don't be afraid. Because what you think of, what you are afraid of, will happen. So believe in the good, in what is desirable and beautiful. And because you believe in it, it is the one that will happen. So you see, you are the architect of your life. Your life is like that now because you think that way. You are not a victim. You are an architect of your life. Most of the time, you only don't realize it and depend on others to make your life for you. As you think, you move the controls of heaven and make it happen. Ang konti-konti na ng ganyang super phenomena na nangyayari sa buhay ng mana ng palataya, because we have reduced our spirituality into a philosophy, into a set of religious rules and do's and don'ts. Wala na tuloy nakikita tayo mga kamanghamanghang bagay. Kasi niliitan na rin natin ang ating mga ipinagdarasal dahil sa lumiliit natin pananalig. Ayaw na natin ipagdasal yung parang imposible kasi baka hindi rin naman mangyari. Prayer is thought. Prayer is a form of imagination. When we pray in faith, we are reaching into the power of God. We enter a dimension, a frequency that is an express lane to the control room of heaven. We reach into the realm of power and the realm of possibility. We get out of the prison of impossibility. We go to the realm of possibility where all things and all matter are bendable, changeable. Faith over the material world. Mind over matter. Like Jesus, people who think deep enough, believe enough, pray in faith, can recreate matter, can reorder nature. Hindi yan magic, ha? Hindi yan kung ano-anong hokus-pokus. Nakaset sa Bible yung law na yan. Kaya sabi ni Jesus sa Mark 9.23, If you can, if I can, everything is possible for him who believes. Kasi may nagsabi sa kanya, mapapagaling niyo po kami, if you can. Sabi niya, if I can, I'm not the point. I can always. I always can. But do you believe? Because if you believe, it is possible for you. Everything is possible for him who believes. Nakita niyo yung mga lumaki sila sa mga napakadukhang environment, pero naniwala silang kaya nilang hanguin ang sarili nila doon, kaya nilang ibangon ang kanilang mga sarili, kahit pinupull down sila ng kanilang mga kamag-anak at mga kaibigan, nangyayari yung pinaniniwalaan nila. Humuhulag ko sila sa mga gapos ng kanilang environment, 
gumagawa sila ng bagay para makaangat at nangyayari nga pero yung nanatili doon sa lusak forever kasi hindi naman naniwala yun na pwede siyang umalis doon eh sabi niya ganyan lang talaga ang buhay wala tayo magagawa ganyan talaga so wala talaga nangyayari kasi yung pananalig mo ang mangyayari sa buhay mo dahil kung talaga nananalig ka kikilis at gagawa ka para isa katuparan yung pinaniniwalaan mo Faith and thought is above the law of creation. Faith and thought is rule. Faith and thought rule the universe. So whoever can believe more can do more. Whoever has more faith can accomplish more. So ask. And you know, asking is word. Asking is thought. Ask and it shall be given you. Think it, do it, and it will happen. Think of what you like to happen. Imagine what you like to happen. Say what you would like to happen. Napakalaking disiplina to ha. Para ang isipin mo, imaginein mo, sabihin mo, iyon lang talagang gusto mo mangyari. Deuteronomy 30:19. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now, choose life so that you and your children may live. Sabi niya, saksi ang lahat. Binibigyan kita ng dalawang option. Buhay o kamatayan. Pagpapala o mga sumpa, pumili ka mabuti. Piliin mo yung makakabuti sa iyo at sa iyong mga anak. Napipili ang kapalaran. You choose your choice and your thought matter. Ang iniisip mo mahalaga sa heaven yan. Ang iniisip mo ang nagbubukas o nagsasara ng pinto. Proverbs 4:23 Above all else guard your heart for everything for everything you do flows from it Of course the heart means guard your mind guard your thought which really means guard your prayer watch your thoughts and your words because everything that will happen in your life will flow from it You are the architect of your destiny whether or not you are conscious Matthew 12, 36, everyone will have to give account for every careless word that they have spoken. Applied, every word that you say and every thought from which it comes is your reward or your punishment because that thought will become you. That thought will become prayer. It will get answered. It will become your life. So, mananagot ka sa bawat salita which means sa bawat iniisip which means sa bawat pinaniniwalaan mo kasi yun ang bubuo lilikha magbibigay ng hugis, kulay, tunog sa iyong buhay think, believe and pray big pray for more than just a helper Pray for more than just the spring water. Hindi katulad noong lumpo. But pray for a direct, quick, immediate Jesus word and touch. Because Jesus likes to put you in the express lane. Ang iksi-iksi ng buhay na ubo sa kahihintay mo dahil lang you don't claim your destiny. Pray for healing, not just for a caregiver or a helper. Although it is not bad to pray for a caregiver or a helper. But why don't you pray for healing instead? Pray for the end result, not just for the tools. Halimbawa, pwede mag-time travel. Gusto mo magpunta sa Baguio. Why don't you pray, Lord, punta na po ako sa Baguio. Now na. Ay, ka na. Kasi, Lord, bigyan niyo po ako sa sakyan. Ay, sira po. Bigyan niyo po ako mekaniko. Ay, wala akong pambayad sa mekaniko. Bigyan niyo po ako pambayad. Ang dami mong hiningi. Ang ending lang pala. Gusto mo lang magpunta ang Baguio. Ito mo lang diretsohin. Prayer is thought. And it's logical action. Hindi enough na thought. Dapat may action. 
James 2.17, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. So naniniwala po ako kung ulad ang aking buhay, eh anong ginagawa mo? Tanghali na, tulog ka pa. Nagahanap buhay ka, pero ang litlit ng kita, pati ka lumipat sa mas malaking kita. Anong ginagawa mo? Para yung pinaniniwalaan mo, matupad, dapat magkakambal yun. Paniniwala at kilos. Pray for enablement. Pray for empowerment. Not just for a doctor or a nurse or medicine. Pray for independence, for freedom. Pray for rest, for peace and joy. Instead of just tools that give pleasures. Pray for contentment instead of wealth. Kasi yung wealth, akala mo magiging contento ka, pero hindi lahat ng may wealth, contento. Eh kung ipinag-pray mo agad, makontento ka na, with or without wealth, di nakarating ka na doon sa Baguio. Pray for happiness, not just success. Kasi maraming successful people are not happy. Meron naman successful na happy pa. Pero why not pray for the express lane to open to you? Huwag ka na maghanap ng tubig na nakakapagpagaling. Huwag ka na maghanap ng magbubuhat sa'yo para ilubog ka sa tubig. Magpray ka na na. Gumalik ka na. Diretso. Nakita natin sa example ni Jesus. Yun ang gusto niya. And with correct and enough faith, which means action, it can happen. Matthew 17, 18-21. Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy and he was healed at that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, Because you have so little faith. Sabi kayo ng sabi, Get out of him in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Pero ba't di tumatalab? Because you are not really praying for it. You are not really thinking of it. You are not really imagining it in your mind. You are not really thinking and believing that you can do it. Kaya kahit anong sabi ng sabi mo, umalis ka dyan, masamang ispirito, hindi nagaganap, bibig mo lang. Pero wala sa iyong puso. Truly I tell you, sabi ni Jesus, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Hindi nyo madrive out yung demon kasi hindi kayo naniniwala na madadrive out yung atin. Hindi kayo naniniwala na makikinig sa inyo. So, hindi nakinig sa inyo. Pero kung naniniwala kayo, the devil will have to flee. Resist the devil with your faith and he will flee from you. Sabi natin kanina, think only of what you like to happen. Yung kabaligtaran nun, do not think of, do not imagine, and do not say with verbal or body language what you do not like to happen. Lalabas kayo, ay uulan. Ay, di umulan nga. Yung, yung anak, pag-aaralin kita, baka naman second year pa lang, buntis ka na, hindi ka na matuloy. Sinabi mo na nga. Kaya first year pa lang, in advance na niya. Do not think of, do not imagine, do not say what you do not like to happen. Because if you truly believe in what you're saying, no matter how negative it is, your thought will enter the control room of heaven and push the right buttons and deliver to you what you want what you are saying. Though sometimes because of ignorance, you don't even know that you are wanting it. But because you're always saying it and you believe in it, truly, you want it. Because as the mouth speaks, it reveals the content of the heart. Kasa sabi mo, natuloy, natuloy, nangyari. Proverbs 18.21 The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Nakita nyo? Ang dila, ang salita, at yung isip na nagbibigay ng nagsisilang doon sa salita ay pwedeng bumuhay o pumatay. Totoo yun. Literally, may isang taong hirap na hirap ang loob, may sinabi ka, biglang nabuhay ng loob, o may sinabi ka, nagpakamatay tuloy. Because your tongue is the power of life and death. Napakalaking pananagutan sa Diyos kung paano natin ginagamit ang ating dila. But to apply it to our lesson today, do not verbalize what you fear. Do not verbalize what you do not like to happen because verbalizing it could put you on the express lane to the sacred space to deliver to you what you are saying. 
instead of verbalize, think of its positive reverse. Kaya ang sabi, so do not worry. Because when you worry about something, you are praying for it to happen. Matthew 6, 25 and 34, do not worry. What you worry about, which means what you think of, becomes your prayer, and it could materialize. Huwag yung pamugarin sa loob ng inyong isip ang mga jablo, ang mga takot, ang mga kadiliman. Kasi pag nadisip ka, kaiisip mo, kaiisip mo, pinagpray mo na pala. Think of what is nice. Think of what you like to be and to happen. Nag-aalala ko tungkol sa iyong loved one, ang isipin mo yung mabuti, hindi yung nakakatakot. Takot ka ng takot ng takot tungkol sa asawa mong marino na nasa dagat. Hindi mo alam yung prayer mo pala, eh, humihingi ka na ng bagyo. Dahil yun ang laman ng iyong utak. Philippians 4.8, Keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. Diyan kayo magtuwa ng isip. Kasi yan ang prayer nyo. Discipline talaga. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. Eh ano ang pinag-iisip natin? Worthwhile ba o yung baligtad? Worthy of praise ba o baligtad? Because that will be your prayer. Proverbs 17.22 A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So you see, it begins with the heart in thought. So the heart is the mind, is the thought, it heals. But negative emotions, negative thoughts affect the physical body. It starts with the thought. Pag cheerful yung thought mo, gamot mo na yun. Pero pag malungkot yung thought mo, pati buto mo, sumasakit. Mind over matter. Iniisip mo palang, nagpapasakit na lang yung likod. Pag lagi kang maraming mga stress, emotionally, ang likod mo sumasakit. Pag marami kang anger, ang lungs mo, bumihina ang resistensya, nagkakasakit ka sa baga. Pag lagi kang ninenervyos at stress, nagkakasakit ka sa sikmura. Nagsisimula sa isip, sumusunod ang katawan. Kung ang sakit, eh pwede magsimula sa isip. Eh di lalo naman pwede magsimula sa isip ang paggaling. Kaya think of thoughts na nakapagpagaling. Hindi, oh, ayan, 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 tumataas ang BP ko, tataas ang BP ko, tataas ang BP ko, tumataas, syempre, sinabi mo eh. Ayan, lalala na ako, lalala na ako, hindi mo sinusunod na gusto ko, magkakaheart attack na ako, magkakaheart attack na ako. O di, ayan, tumumba. Ecclesiastes 11.10, Don't let anything worry you or cause you pain. John 14.27, Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Why? Because what you are troubled about and what you are afraid of becomes your thought, becomes your prayer, becomes your life. James 1.8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So, naniniwala ka, hindi ka naniniwala, natatakot ka, peaceful ka, halo, 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 ang buhay mo tuloy, halo, halo, magulo. Faith and steadfast thought, a stable mind, can reorder creation. But weak faith and stable mind cannot bend anything. So commit your material capital to your vision and prayer. Commit your personal, your social, emotional, spiritual, commit your work capital to your thought. Ano bang iniisip mo? Anong pangarap mo? Anong gusto mong mangyari? Commit everything you have to it. Yun yung sinasabing, climb every mountain, do what it takes, and things can and will happen. Give it your life and soul. Give it your all. You believe in it. Your body works at it. It will happen. In faith, with thought, words, and action, you can enter sacred space to recreate your personal world. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. But you have to cooperate. You have to also plan the same way. 
You have to think of what I plan for you, not what the devil plans for you. Because what you think of will become your prayer and it will become you. Ang kailangan ng talagang mana ng palataya, more quiet time, more personal reflection, more meditation, because it is through thinking of it that you pray for it, that you make it happen. Huwag nating punuin ang ating maghapon ng puro daldal, puro kilos, puro gawa. Kailangan may quiet time so we can reflect, so we can think of the beautiful things that like God plans for us. We can think of all the nice and healing and relaxing and soothing and fulfilling things so that they can happen. So that you can meditate and just fix your imagination on the things that you would love to have in your life. Because when you think in the right vibration, in the right frequency, you move into sacred space and make it happen. With God, with faith in God, with faith in God's loving plan, let us create and recreate a beautiful world.